So you have an Amazon Fire TV stick. I'm going to show you how to use your phone as a remote control. Now, why do you want to do this? Well, first of all, maybe you lost a remote control. Maybe it's not working. Or like me, I, I like to use both, but I like to use my phone more because I always have my phone, okay? So first thing is you need to go to your app store. It doesn't matter if you have an iPhone or Windows phone or Android phone, okay? Go to the app store. So for my iPhone here, here's the app store here. I'm going to tap on that. Next thing you want to do is do a search, and you want to do a search for Amazon Fire TV, okay? And then once you do that, this is what the app here looks like. Go ahead and download that. Then once you download it, this is what the app looks like right here. And let's go ahead and open this up and set this up. Now, another thing i got to mention too is whatever your Fire TV stick is hooked up to, the Wi-Fi internet, if, for instance, if this is um, connected to your home Wi-Fi network, then your phone needs to be connected to the home wi the same home Wi-Fi network as well, okay? Anyways, now it says a select, uh, select a device to connect. It found mine automatically. If it didn't find yours, and you want to go ahead and just go ahead and click on new device, and then from here, go ahead and sign in to your, um, your Amazon account. Click on sign in. So back to the screen here. Like I said, I already found mine. This is I, It's the uh, Virgil Second Fire TV. Let me go ahead and tap on that right there. It's asking me for some kind of code. Hey, what do you know? Okay, so I already have my TV on. Now it's giving me this code right here. Wow, look at that. Even it says my, my phone name, iPhone 11 Pro. So let's do 4461. Wow. All right, so looking at the remote now, now you can see that like this is like a blank here, but you can, you're can you able to move, okay? So for example, you can like move down, you can move up, you can see it's highlighted on home right now, I can move to the right. Now you don't want to move over like this, it's just going to go fast. If I move down like this, oops, let me go ahead and go back, here's the back button right here. If I go down and I hold it there, it's going to go really fast, okay? So you probably want to do is just move up one at a time, okay? Let me, oops, let me go back here. You want to move up one at a time, okay? Or you can go ahead and move right. Now, you also have the voice search here that's also connected to Alexa. So you can even ask it questions, like, for example, and to activate it, you want to press down like this and hold it right there just like that, and then speak it, and then let go, okay? So, for example, let's do this. Ready? What's today's weather? Right now in Arcadia, it's 57 degrees Fahrenheit with showers. Okay. Net, All right, pretty cool. How about this? Let's search for a movie, okay? Jumanji. Nice. And then, of course, I can go ahead and select what I want. You can go ahead and just slide over like that. Another thing you can do, too, if you didn't want to use the uh, voice search, let's say you want to look for a movie, but you can also go to the search. Right now it's on home. It's highlighted in white or yellow. If I just move over to the left, now we go to search. And what you can do, if you just want to type it on your phone, you can just tap on that, and you're able to input that using the uh, keyboard here. Another thing I want to note, too, is you can see the bottom here. You can see the home, the play, pause, fast forward, fast uh, rewind. You can go ahead and move it down one if you want as well. Okay, so pretty simple. If you guys have any issues with anything like that, just comment below. All right, now back to some bin watching.